Here's how I made this wooden chopping board and tray at the Wood Geek workshop. I made this beautiful wooden pattern by combining two kinds of wood. A darker black shirish, which is the local hardwood that you get around North Bengal, and a lighter colored uh, birch wood to get a contrasting effect. I'm using my table saw to cut out uh, two by one inch blocks of the black shirish and one by 0.25 inch blocks of the lighter birch wood. So to create the wood pattern, First I'm going to glue up the dark and the light wood pieces alternatively and then I'm going to clamp them together. You'll see that I'm gluing up two boards here. One with the pieces set straight one below the other and a second board with the pieces set in a slightly staggered manner so I have a slightly angled board. And you'll see why I'm doing that in a bit. I'm using regular wood glue which sets in about 15 to 20 minutes and once both the boards are dry I take both these boards to my planer and even out the thickness. Next it's off to the table saw. I clean up the sides of the first board and for the second board I set up the fence at 45 degrees so I can get a 45 degree angled cut. Now to create the wood patterns I'm going to cut out 3 inch blocks from both the boards. The straight 3 inch blocks will form a brick style pattern and the angled 45 degree blocks will create a chevron pattern. First, to create the brick style pattern, I'm going to lay out all the pieces and then I'm adding a strip of the lighter birch wood in between each of them. Then I'm flipping every alternate piece to create this haphazard pattern that resembles a brick wall. Next, to create the chevron pattern, I'm taking all the pieces cut at a 45 degree angle and I'm flipping every alternate piece making sure that the lighter wood segments match. Then it's back to gluing and clamping the boards for the final time to get the boards ready. Once the glue dries, it's time to take these boards to the planer where I reduce the thickness to about 20 mm. With both my brick style pattern and chevron board ready, it's time to take it back to the table saw to clean up the sides. I'm going to make a rectangular tray out of the brick pattern board and a chopping board from the chevron board. So from here, it's off to the CNC. On my CNC router, I cut out a 12 inch circle from the chevron pattern board and from the brick style board, I carve out a tray using mostly an end mill and a ball nose bit. With all the cutting done, it's time to start finishing these boards. I'm cleaning up the edges using my disc sander here and then I add a round over using a router. Now for the part that I hate the most, sanding. I'm using sandpaper all the way from 80 grit to 400 grit so that I can get a smooth finish. To protect the chopping board and tray, I'm using a water-based sanding sealer followed by a food safe matte top coat made by ICA. So there you go, that's how I make pattern chopping boards and trays at the Wood Geek Workshop. You can shop all of these products at woodgeekstore.com and we deliver across the world.